Good morning everybody. We are about to have a little clear out because a few reasons actually. Firstly, this is like my dresses, play suits, jumpsuits, quite a lot of summery stuff in here. And last summer, because I was heavily pregnant, I didn't really wear that much, except the stretchy stuff obviously. So I can't actually remember what's in here. And now we're going into, well, we're going into spring. But it doesn't look like it literally look outside guys it is the shambles in the uk honestly can you believe that four years ago this was the first lockdown which is just wild i can't believe it's been four years i honestly just can't get over that period of time and how kids are going to study that in history at some point <laughs> which is just wild that we lived in it wasn't it yeah four years ago and when, when lockdown hit we just had such a nice Sorry, I'm such a Brit talking about the weather, but we just have such rubbish weather here. It's so annoying when I see people in Australia and America and they're just like, they live in the sunshine. It just must feel so different day to day. <laughs> Especially in April. Why have we just got rain constantly? I saw a reel of people that had moved to Australia from the UK and how they love it there, but they do miss a lot of things about Britain. Do you know what? I wish I was born in Australia. That's kind of what I would have loved. <laughs> but I don't think now I could ever up and move because I'm, s I don't know, it's just something like the home comforts. And on this reel, this girl was writing about how like pubs here and the, oh, I can't remember what she said, all the like lovely things about Britain that makes the UK so, great just reminded me i mean i know that i'm such a home bird anyway but like there's just so many things about the uk that i would just miss so much i just couldn't move <laughs> as much as i wish i lived in a hot country i couldn't do it anyway i don't know why i got onto that but this time four years ago we had great weather and we don't but we are slowly going into spring hopefully and i would like to whap out the old summer wardrobe at some point and I just want to kind of remember what I've got because I didn't really wear, as I said, much of it last year when I was heavily pregnant. And I want to clear out some stuff that I just don't wear. Thing I will say about myself, which I am proud of myself for, is I am a good get rid of get ridder. I'm not a hoarder. If something hasn't been worn. I need to start a new rule actually. If something hasn't been worn for like, well obviously with this it's a bit different because I couldn't wear it last summer. But usually, <laughs> ignoring the pregnant stage, I think I'd give it like, okay, I haven't worn that in three months of the season I'm in. Gotta go. Off to charity or I'm selling it. <laughs> the other thing is I also picked up some new bits from Zara and I've got a bit of a rule now where if I get some new bits, something's gotta go because we don't have the space. And I just like that rule because I think then you just don't get too cluttered. So, I'm gonna carry on with this. Have a bit of a spring clean. Have any of you guys done that yet? Oh my God, look at this. This is the dress I wore the one time we went to the Brits, which was a moment and a half. I had so much fun. Absolutely beautiful, but so freaking itchy and scratchy. I remember my legs were in pieces at the, um, after party i went back up to our room in the hotel took this off even though i absolutely adored it and i put on like a big baggy jumper and like this flowy skirt underneath and went to a party and looked like i was a five-year-old going to the beach but my legs were just in pieces that's the annoying thing about really pretty sort of sequiny dresses isn't it they just look beautiful but they so often are so so uncomfortable also this this dress i bought off pretty little thing must have been like eight years ago for five pounds <laughs> she's still here i'm not a big fan of plt anymore however that dress is a good one <laughs> look at this as well guys this is from my old in the style collection did anyone get any of the pieces in this print because this was one of my faves love her oh do you know what else we have got in here which really gets me in my feels guys this is my official wedding day outfit so obviously we've got married in Paxos, which i still <laughs> me and carl were talking about this the other day because carl also has done this with his suit 
but I still need to go and get it like sorted because there's olive grove in the train there's cake all over it from the cake fight and I still have not got that sorted <laughs> I don't know where you take them does anyone know any good companies that like transform your wedding dress back from the absolute shambles it is after your wedding day because I would really like to the evening dress I could definitely wear again just in the summer because it's quite like a casual dress it it was a, a specific wedding dress but it doesn't really look like it it looks like a really nice evening dress that you could wear in the summer on the beach and stuff and we are going back to Paxos this year where we got married so maybe I could like do a two years on moment in it but not at the moment because it's covered in cake <laughs> but also the, the ceremony dress which was my, my proper wedding wedding dress I would love to like people like adjust them don't they so they can wear them again they don't look so wedding-y like some people go shorter or I don't know but then do I want to like cut up my wedding dress and make it look different? I don't know. Or maybe I just want to keep it, see if Wynne wants it. <laughs> she might have a completely different style, but she could have the option. But yeah, anyway, I need to do that at some point. Then had our official, did the legal part in the UK. And I wore this, which was just from Zara. And I absolutely love it. I'm definitely going to get this out again this year because it obviously didn't fit me last year. And I wanted to wear it in the summer again. But it's just these sort of linen trousers with this little tie up back corset top from Zara too. So, so nice, really understated. It made me feel like Carrie Bradshaw on Sex and the City. Although his was more of a suit, just that like, I'm not wearing a dress vibe. <laughs> Cause you know, she does that and they're like, what are you doing? Okay, we've got, somewhere i mean it still looks a little bit of a shambles i'm not gonna lie but i think i've managed to clear out maybe 10 bits that i'm gonna either sell or send to charity you know what there is a dress in here that is just as old as that red one <laughs> this is also a plt one and it's got like this slit on the belly but this is this is an item which i feel like i can't get rid of because it just takes me back <laughs> I need to not do that I know that is the problem where some people hold a lot of things because of memory but I don't know I just can't let it go I wore it the first time me and Niall visited Paxos together about eight years ago and I just love it for that reason <laughs> definitely said to myself this morning do not vlog in Christmas pajamas with a fruit dressing gown over the top that is just not a vibe. <laughs> I completely forgot to get dressed before I started filming then. So, um, yeah, just ignore that combo because <laughs> I need to stop wearing Christmas pyjamas all year round. Does anyone else do that? They're just comfier for some reason. <laughs> anyway, I've got myself into a little gym outfit because I am going to do a run today. I actually want to, in this video, talk a little bit about my fitness, what I'm doing at the moment, because I've got into a new flow and probably my favourite one ever. So I want to talk to you about it. And I think I might also do like a little what I eat in a day within the video too. So I'm going to go downstairs and make some food in a sec. But just before we do, I wanted to show you these shorts because these are a new style we're about to drop on Bluey. How gorgeous is this waist? And I know you've probably seen a wrap waist before, but have you ever seen a wrap waist? in seamless material because I haven't and I'm so excited it's taken a very very long time to get these done and to get them right because it's quite complicated when you make seamless gym clothes they come through a seamless machine as one singular tube so when they come out they literally just look like one le massive leg if that makes sense and then they cut in the well, they cut it into two legs. So the waistband's there already. So when they make these, they have to do it a little bit differently because the waistband is not just straight, if that makes sense. So it can't just be one piece of material coming out like that. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> but see, seamless technology is quite different to making, you know, cut and sew gym wear, kind of like Lululemon 
gym wear, you know, that sort of typical old school lycra, blah, blah, blah. Those kind of materials they make by hand, but Seamless is made in these big machines and it's kind of done as one massive tube so it's a little bit more restrictive so this waistband had to be made differently and because I want it to seamlessly still sit on the seamless it's been a little bit of a mission to get right but I think we've done it I love it so much and also it's not super low waist because I think with a lot of oh hang on camera's not not feeling me there we go with a lot of these wrap waists they give you like that lower waist look because they obviously dip but this one is still a high waisted wrap waist although it dips it's designed where it like crossover dips so that it doesn't really show much more belly than your regular high waisted leggings would this shape definitely is more flattering than a straight across waist they look a little bit more soft and they're very feminine i think they look very pretty and a little bit more fashionable than like your standard waistband but I just love them and I'm so glad we've managed to do it in our seamless with our subtle bum scrunch as well. This is actually just a sample colour, we're not doing this exact colour, although it is very lovely. They will be slightly different but I'm very excited to drop them soon on Bluey which will be coming in May. This is going to be a very spring kind of range. Okay, we are going to make something that I saw on Reels again. My Reels are popping off at the moment. There's so many good things and good ideas I get from them. But yesterday, I saw this viral blueberry toast. You basically just pop the bread with some egg and Greek yogurt mixed on top and then put the blueberries on top and put it in the oven. And it's kind of like, I think it's like French toast. Viral baked yogurt toast, it's called. And I think it's a TikTok thing. But I love those little TikTok recipes because they're so, so easy. So I thought we could make that together. So guys, I need to have a conversation with you about June. <laughs> Who here is a June fan? Because I suddenly got converted the other day <laughs> on the weekend. I can't remember why, do you know what? actually I do know how, I know why this happened. So I watched Wonka on the plane home from our holiday and really liked the main actor Timothy. Although I think his name is pronounced Timothee. I'm pretty sure because I've watched so many interviews on YouTube since. <laughs> Does anyone else do that when you really love a film, you just watch the actors do like all the interviews on YouTube because you just, I just got obsessed. <laughs> I really love him, but I really love June. And obviously June's been out for ages. Wait a minute, let me just get my ingredients so we can talk and bake. So I'm trying to move at quite a quick speed because I'm trying to get lots of things done while Winnie's asleep. And I just can't judge at the moment how long a nap's gonna be. They were, they did used to be very regular and very sort of like clockwork. Not anymore. Not with the teeth situation, she's got, Pretty sure she's got, she's got two, the top one's come through and she's got three other coming through. So we're in the, the depths of the teething. So the naps are all over the shop. So we're trying to rush so that I can get some bits done while she's snapping. So yeah, June sat on the sofa. I was like, let me just see what this is all about. Let me put the trailer on. I like Timothee. So I put it on and I was like, hmm. And then I think Niall must have heard the music because the music on it is so iconic. Yeah, and he came down and he went, what are you doing? <laughs> and bear in mind, he'd come back from June 2. Like, you know when someone is like, just blown away by a film and they just want to go straight back, that was him. But I obviously didn't get the hype at the time that happened. And I was like, chill out, mate. <laughs> he came over and was like, why are you watching that? <laughs> and I said to him like, maybe we could watch it <laughs> me and Niall have quite different taste in films so I think when I like something that he likes he gets super excited he's been trying to get me to watch Lord of the Rings for the whole time I've been with him but I just don't love like that medieval feel to programs like anything like that like even Bridgerton Game of Thrones I know I know I, I, I bet it's really good but I just can't get myself to watch it. <laughs> anyway, with June, it was kind of the same thing. So he was so excited when I was like, okay, we can watch it. Watched it. Do you know what? If I didn't have him next to me explaining every little thing, I don't think I would have got into it because it is 
very confusing at the beginning but if you can watch it with somebody who likes it and who doesn't mind you asking 10 million questions i know that's so annoying when you're watching something like whenever i put eastenders on they ask me 10 million questions or Chris, the christmas special that's the most annoying part because everybody wants to get involved on the christmas special of eastenders and ask you 10 million questions and it's obviously like the best episode of the year and if everybody's doing like well, why is phil who's phil with now oh what's cat doing and, and you're just like shut up i'm trying to watch it so i know how annoying that is but he did say you know you can ask me i've watched this one many many times so i did and it definitely helped because i think it is a really confusing film at the beginning to like understand all the weird names and so i know lots of people either love it or just walk out and are like what the heck just happened if you get into it it's, i honestly felt like i was in a like i was in june that weekend because then the next night we went to the cinema to watch june 2 and i was like i wish i hadn't got into this until all of the films were out because i think they're gonna do quite a few more and you have to wait like four years now till the next one i'm really sad i wish i'd like started watching it and they were all already out because that would be so great it's just so good and timothy Chamele, or however you say his name, is absolutely, he's just so like engaging, he's such a good actor. I was saying to Mal, he's like, he's so careful with the way he acts, because Lyle thinks I fancy him. I wouldn't say I fancy him, although I think he's quite cute, but I just love his acting and like his characters. Just telling them about June and how, how much I got into it, but how you've kind of got to sit and watch it with somebody who doesn't mind you asking 10 million questions but also knows it all already <laughs> yeah i guess or you, you, can just, you do have to because some, or you can google it I, when i first DM watched me. it i found it confusing yeah yeah but some people dm me when i was like oh love it and they were like i went to see june 2 and at the end they were, just heard so many people going what the hell just happened as they walked out that would be so annoying because it but maybe they meant like, oh my god, like what just happened? No, I What's think. What's going on? Like, no, what? I think I don't think it was quite in that tone. I think it was, what the hell did what I just watch? The fuck was going on in that? <laughs> yeah, but it's sick, though, isn't it? It's so good. Ben's a Juna. I am a Juna. Is that I'm what you called? You're a proud Juna. Juni. Juni. <laughs> yeah, know, highly um, recommend. You run on a treadmill. No, yeah, you got to tell us already about. <laughs> this is where Decided I'm Decided against going. the track session because it's a bit drizzly. I got absolutely soaked this time last week. And you're running in the rain, you're like, yeah. Feeling like you're in a movie. Like, go on then. Wiping the, Off the, again. The, 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 the rain of the heart. There's puddles. You're about to size in your life, aren't you? <laughs> I'm going to try this recipe and maybe you'll steal it and put it on the good bite. On your what? No. Don't say it. No. It's a secret. Here's my egg and my yogurt no, mix. <laughs> All I'm going to do now is pop some bread in one of these. Wait, let me put it down. So I'm going to pop two pieces of bread in here. I need to try and get a blue beetle out of the fish. You better told her she's a bit overweight. Oh, that's why she's there. She, she doesn't want to have her at breakfast. Oh, that's not very nice. Bluebell, you can't skip meals. That's not the way to do it. No, it's not, baby girl. Right, so, oh, you can't see what I'm doing at all. So here's my bread. I'm just going to pour a little bit on that one. And a little bit on that one. Blueberries or blueberries? You say blueberries, don't you? No, I changed it because people make fun out of me on YouTube. People always make fun of the way you say certain foods. Blueberries. Carl was saying they make fun of the way you say oregano. Orag yeah. Oregano. Oregano. So go oregano. Oregano. Mm. And parmesan. They go parmesan. Why does it say a sun? <laughs> and you go parmesan. <laughs> That's what the Americans do. But to be fair. <laughs> It's an Italian word, and they put they go pomegiano. So oh yeah, they do, don't they? It's a different word. Like we translated it into English, it's parmesan. <laughs> you tell them. That is it. We're gonna pop them in the oven. I have no idea for how long for because on the reel it doesn't give you any of these details. It doesn't give you measurements on the yogurt, so it was all a bit of a guess. So we'll just keep an eye 
And then we're gonna drizzle some honey on top at the end, I think. I thought while the toast is cooking, I would have a quick look in my Zara parcel. So I picked up a few new bits. Ooh, this looks lovely, a little bit thinner. Ooh, oh, how cute, look at this. I saw this, well, I thought it was a coat, but it's very much a jacket, which I guess it makes sense because of the time of year. I thought it was gonna be a bit more puffy, but it definitely feels like it's super thin. But I do quite like it. I mean, not with this outfit. I should maybe try, I hate doing this. I like to really try new things on. You know, like when you try your outfit for a night out on without your hair and makeup done and you think it looks horrible. I just hate doing that. I like being like makeup on, hair all nice, and properly get a feel, but we're not in that situation right now, so we'll have to visualize. But I do feel like this would be nice with a little like white top and some baggy blue jeans. I did pick up some blue jeans actually, which we should definitely have a little look at and maybe try on together because I love this light blue shade and they're like super sort of wide leg, which I absolutely love. And I think these are relatively low rise which I love. They're called the Palazzo Fit. Okie dokie. Guys, these jeans are so nice and they're not too low rise. So if you look, they're kind of, they sit right on the belly button. Oh, you can't see them, let's get in the mirror. Sorry. Oh, we've actually just got a new lawnmower and it's blocking the mirror right now, right there. Anyone else's house is shambles? We've got a little baby. Because ours is becoming worse and worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like baby central everywhere plus a lawnmower <laughs> so these are the jeans how nice are they I mean I need some shoes they are quite long but they fit nice on the bum and the leg and the waist which is quite rare oh I really like these these are gorgeous, and I feel like they're very very nice sort of spring summertime with this colour as well okay next we've got this I, I mean, it's kind of structured. I actually thought this was gonna be a bit more structured than it is, but I do like that it's not, because it's got quite a lot of stretch to it. I tried to get a top like this ages ago where it had this sort of asymmetric shape to it, because I thought it's one of those tops that like, will just sort of dress up an outfit if you don't know what to wear and you want something simple but stylish with some like big gold sort of stud big earrings if that makes sense and a slicked bun would be really nice with this I'm getting a little bit more into my slicked hair <laughs> just because it's so easy but yeah i feel like this even with these jeans and some nice like sandal heels when the weather gets a bit nicer <laughs> very nice and it's got like a double bit over the boob so it's not see-through with it being white love oof lovely and next we've got this little it's kind of leather look, but it's not, it's actually not faux leather, but it's, I don't know how, how you describe it. I'm not sure what this material is. It just looks like it's got that leather effect. I really like the square neck, love a square neck. I feel like it's super flattering on the boob area, especially if you're a bit smaller boob like me. And this is actually a bodysuit. I haven't done it up because I can't be bothered. Don't, I'm like, love hate with bodysuits because I love them if they're comfy and usually they're not. <laughs> I just don't like the button underneath. I didn't think this was a bodysuit to be honest. I thought it was just like a long top. But then it does make it look really sort of sleek because it's a bodysuit and it sort of holds. Let's have a little play with some outfits because I'm not 100% sure on this one yet. I can't really work out this material. It's really weird. Can you see? It's like got little bits in it. <laughs> okay, what are we thinking? I don't know what I was thinking when I <laughs> picked this. It's just not very me. But one thing I will say is it's very comfy. And it did come in lots of other colours that weren't stripey, just kind of block shades. But I just imagined it sort of with some chunky trainers and like this little denim jacket I also got my order which I feel like absolutely love this colour but I don't know about the shape I just wanted it a bit more of that sort of baggy 
80s vibe but it's very thin it was a bit more like a shirt than a denim jacket and i sort of hoped it would be like a denim jacket that was this really nice sort of khaki shade but yeah i can imagine this dress with a really nice baggy denim jacket i just imagine it would be quite nice but i just don't feel very me so <laughs> maybe not okay last but definitely not least how beautiful is this dress it's so comfortable which i wasn't sure it was gonna be because i just wasn't sure what the material was gonna actually be like in person but it's kind of like this i don't know you call it sort of chiffon mesh and then it's got the layer underneath so it's not see-through oh it is a little bit see-through <laughs> but i think with the two layers you can't really see well can you no i don't think you can um, but I love this colour and pattern. Let me just show you in the mirror with the full length. Ignore the socks because they do really ruin the vibe. <laughs> Can you see? Like, imagine this in the summertime. Oh, I love it. I love this colour and this pattern. Love the yellow. Not the socks. <laughs> I feel like that was quite successful actually. But yeah, I'll make sure I link everything in the description box. Love the jeans, love this dress. Really like that white top. I think they, those are the three I'll keep. But yeah, lovely. We are just about ready. <gasps> oof, ooh, that's hot. Oof, 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 that's hot. I kind of look like custody things. <laughs> custody breads. Ooh, they look so good. I think I'll do a taste test in a little bit because they are probably boiling. I might actually see if Wynne wants them because I think she's just woken up. So I'm gonna go grab her and then hopefully they'll have cooled down a bit and we can both have a try. Should we do a little song? This is how I feel about you, little baby. Man, oh man, you're my best friend. A screamer to the nothingness. slowly slowly starting to accept win into a tribe so i saw this reel though the other day that a lot of dogs basil is just a kisser he will kiss anything and anyone <laughs> but bluebell is a little bit more selective aren't you baby which is fine but i did see this reel the other day that said that some dogs with kissing they just only do it when they fully trust it oh look at them <laughs> when they fully trust and it's like a, the deepest sort of loyalty and trust when they do it so it's just gonna take a little while but she did give you a little kiss on the ear the other day didn't she bab <laughs> you look so cute I can't go. gonna try some blueberry toast <laughs> right let's give this a taste test let's get you a little bit of the softer bit you love a blueberry, don't you, in your oats in the morning? So I'm sure you're going to love this. Winnie, have this. Mummy, have this. <laughs> mm. What do you think? No? Forget how nice blueberries are cooked. Okay, baby. Oh, yummy, isn't it? Yeah, I thought this would be quite a good time to sit down and talk to you because she's occupied with her milk. As I mentioned, I wanted to chat a little bit about my fitness routine and just the new style of training that i've been doing since sort of january time i started this i have started my running journey and i've mentioned this a little bit on here but 
I've got into a really good flow over the past month or so and um, I'm really loving it. I'm not like an, a crazy amazing runner or anything like that but I just really enjoy the high you get from it. It's quite a different rush than the feeling you get from lifting I find. I think weightlifting will always be my absolute favourite type of movement but I'm really enjoying this sort of hybrid integration of running within my weightlifting program and essentially what I've been doing is four weight sessions a week and three runs. I typically do two lower, two upper, one easy run and core day and then on the two upper days there's also a run and today is actually easy run plus core day so I'm not really going to take you out on my run today because I'm not sure if I'm actually going to go outside today because of the weather but if not, I'll go, just go on the treadmill, which I actually personally don't hate. I used to hate running on a treadmill continuously for a long period of time because I found it so boring. But I've since getting into the feeling of running, the playlist is what you need for sure. I've been listening to Ariana Grande's new album for almost every longer run. I mean, to me, a slightly longer run is like 30 to 40 minutes. I don't really ever go over that. And I'm not that interested in sort of at the moment training for like you know some people do these ridiculously long distances like on a saturday niall sometimes runs for near to three hours at the moment which is not what i'm doing but i wanted to integrate just some running into my lifting so i've been doing one easy run which is like your conversational pace it's very steady it's enjoyable it's sometimes for a slightly longer period of time than other runs you know I might, I think today I might do 40 minutes. Currently like do my runs on time rather than distance as well. So I just say I'm gonna do 40 minutes and then see how far I get. I'm not working to like Ks so much, if that makes sense. I'm not saying like, oh, I'm gonna go for a 3K run or whatever. You could kind of do it either way. I don't think it ma massively matters, but I quite like working to a time. And then the two other runs are interval training and a quick, faster run so the quick faster run is usually between 10 and sometimes 20 minutes usually more around the 10 15 mark and I'll try and push my pace so I'm running quite fast um, and it's quite like a challenge in run that but it's to sort of try and increase my speed slowly and that's why it's shorter and then I'll do my interval training which occasionally is sprints but it's more so like 90 seconds at quite a difficult pace and then 30 seconds at a very very steady jog sometimes even a walk and I'll keep doing that for like 15 to 20 minutes but that's kind of the way I've been structuring my weeks and I'm really enjoying it I'm really seeing how much I'm improving at running and just it's like a mental game running isn't it it's, that's the hardest part I find the cardio is difficult but once you you improve that it's the mental game of keeping going because it can get boring if you're you know not into it or if you're tired or you haven't got good music on and if particularly if you're on a treadmill instead of outside because we <laughs> sorry to mention again don't get the good weather well i just wouldn't want to run out in the rain i'd prefer to go on a treadmill if that was the case so anyway that is the schedule i'm doing and today i'm gonna do the easy run plus a core workout and I thought actually I might do the core workout follow along with you so if you want to jump in and do it too I'm going to do a little 200 rep challenge which actually is also programmed into the new beyond program which is about to drop which is the hybrid program so that is actually this style of training and um weekly routine that I've been doing that I have also written a program for to drop into my app beyond it will be the week this vlog goes up actually that enrollment will open for the challenge so it's called the feel good guide so it's to feel your best that's what i found with this it wasn't so much like a weight loss challenge or anything for me with the running it was more so keeping strong with my weightlifting and not sort of letting that slide too much by running too much where my legs were too tired for my lifting for instance <laughs> Is that what you think of that? <laughs> She's so funny at the moment. Uh, but yeah, it's just the perfect program if you still want to carry on with your strength and your lifting and still be able to have 
the energy and the strength for it but also integrate that little bit of running into your routine as well you don't have to be you know very good at running or you know very advanced at running like me i was very much a beginner however you can be a little bit further into your running as well if you want to you can kind of it's all set so that you can set it to your pace i'm not setting particular paces it's more so i'm setting the effort level for when you're running on each run so then that you can tailor to you so if i say conversational pace that will be the pace that you can speak at during the run and that will be different for everyone if that makes sense same with the interval training but um you're spilling that everywhere baby <laughs> don't give us the side eye mate <laughs> um so yeah anyway enrollment opens for that program the feel good guide <laughs> on thursday this week so thursday the 11th and then the challenge starts on monday the 15th so we've actually improved as well within the app the way our challenges will work so they will lock so you do need to if you want to do it alongside all the other women on beyond who will be doing it at the same time i'm also going to restart it and go again from that monday the 15th then you need to make sure you enroll before Monday hit. We've got new features within the app to check in each week, see how you're going with the challenge, so you can track your progress with it as well, and we can see how you're doing as well. Yeah, I'm really excited to have a new, new way of training with and beyond, but also to share this new way that I've been loving, and I was really thinking about this the other day because I was writing the script for the campaign for this, and how during pregnancy I obviously weight lifted throughout which I was really lucky to be able to do although it was very challenging mentally I really wanted to try if I could obviously if you're high risk in your pregnancy you can't really do that postpartum didn't obviously work out for a while after I gave birth and then I was slowly getting back into it and it's a whole new world during that period where you're building back up strength and you're you know having to be careful because of birth and all of the all of that, you're breastfeeding, on demand, if you are, and you're more tired because you've got much more broken sleep. And only since January, and getting into this running, I've really felt, like I, I was a little bit motivated on and off after birth, but because everything was so up and down while she was tiny, and I was getting to, feel confident in what my body could do again it was a little bit up and down <clears throat> but now things are a little bit more <laughs> you're hilarious mate <laughs> she's so cheeky look at that face she knows what she's doing do you know that we're on camera right now because i feel like you do <laughs> when you get milk all over my shorts um, yeah, I really feel like I've got my flow back and I feel so motivated and strong again for the first time since pre-pregnancy and it just feels so, so nice and this new flow that I've been doing with this running within has definitely just like reignited a huge spark in me. I'm just loving it. I'm loving, loving this routine and I am really excited to share it for anybody that wants to get into running, wants something fresh, wants to feel that boost again, wants to do something alongside loads of other people that are like-minded. <laughs> if you're seeking motivation and you want that feel that lots of other people are doing it with you, then this is gonna be perfect. So I'm really, really excited and you can work on your strength, you can work on your cardio. Um, it's really gonna help lean, build lean muscle because you are strength training as well as working on your cardio. So it's gonna be just so good. I'm hoping it will make you feel your fittest ever because I feel so strong at the moment, really happy and positive about my fitness again and it just feels so nice. But anyway, let's go down to the gym and take this little munchkin with us because she loves a good workout. We finished all our mum and baby series one, haven't we? And she loved them. <laughs> it was actually so much fun. Oh my gosh, look at you. She is obsessed with standing up at the moment. 
She spends her whole freaking day standing on this coffee table if she can. <laughs> she is absolutely obsessed, but she's so much happier now that she's able to do it. It's just the. <laughs> So, we are going to do a 200 rep core challenge. Now, if you want to... <laughs> if you just love a scream at the moment, don't you? <laughs> if you want to do this and follow along, then please do. Otherwise, just maybe skip. I'll, I'll put on screen where to skip to if you don't want to watch through the ab workout. But this is only going to take a few minutes. And you can do it from anywhere. First up, we're just going to go straight into some leg raises. So we're gonna lie back, we're gonna lift the legs up and bring them back down slowly. So we've got 10 reps here. Follow along with me. Five. Making sure that lower back nice and flat on the ground. Don't let it arch. Eight. And nine. And 10. Okay, we're gonna go into our alternating push-up plank. So coming up into a high plank position, we're doing 20 reps here. So we're gonna come down onto one forearm and then the other. Let's go. Two, keeping that body as strong and still as you can. Try not to let it twist about as you're going up and down. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, Keep pushing, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, keep on going, 18, 19, Woo. and 20. Okay, Woo. get your breath back. We're coming back down and we're going to do some feet taps. So we've got just 10 reps here, just a quick one. So feet out like so, point those toes. And we're going to tap the floor one leg at a time. Let's go. One, two, three. Keep that back flat if you can. Don't let it arch. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Keep going with your reps if you're still going. Otherwise, get ready for, for, for move four. So our last move we're doing a star, to be a starfish sit up. So we're gonna have the legs in the air and we're gonna reach and come back down. Let's go. One, two, Ooh, these are hard. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! The core is boring. <laughs> okay, that is 50 reps. So we're going to go around that three more times to make our 200. So we're going to take a quick breather in between each round. 30 seconds. And then we're going to jump straight back in. So back into our leg raises, followed by our alternating push up plank followed by our pointed toe taps, and then our starfish sit taps. It is 10, 20, 10, 10, 10 on the reps. That does make 50, doesn't it? Yeah, for a minute it sounded wrong. Okay, get yourselves ready for round two, guys. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Keep pushing. Thirteen, fourteen, 
50. this doesn't make a really long segment in the middle of the vlog <laughs> but if you want to make the 200 just repeat that otherwise honey reps is also a great ab circuit just depending on your time and what you've got i should have just picked a hundred rep one but for some reason I, I was feeling the 200 so i'm going to continue and repeat that once more to make the 200 off camera but I hope you enjoyed that. If you did it, thank you so much for joining me. I'm loving teaching workouts again, so I'm feeling back in my flow with that, which feels great. All right, Niall has taken over baby duties and I've just snuck upstairs with a spot of lunch. So we've got a tuna, cucumber, baguette. Such a good combo, you just can't go wrong with that one, can you? And I'm currently just planning out the first four workouts for my workout YouTube channel, which I'm about to launch. So we have our first filming day tomorrow and we are going to film four sessions. We're starting with a full body strength and cardio circuit, 20 minutes. We've got a booty circuit and 100 rep burnout. A mum and baby class using the carrier. I did a workout with Winnie with the carrier for one of the sessions for Beyond and it was so fun. So I thought we could get one of them in there. And a five minute abs burn session, like a quick one in a ladder set technique, which is a really fun way of training. So I just need to hash out what exercises I want, how I want them to be, blah, 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 and get it all ready for filming day one tomorrow where we're gonna do all four, which will be really fun. So that is my port of call with me tuna baguette. <laughs> Every time I see this guy, I just wanna do this and usually he leaves, but he's letting me lie for a second. He's so squishy and fluffy, but you probably are hating every second of this cuddle, aren't you? He's just not a cuddly guy. Right, we are about to head out to get these nails sorted so do you know what i'm really enjoying the non nail art life at the moment i usually always go for quite like fussy nails i guess <laughs> not very like clean plain nails but i got this chrome last time when i get my nails done i always get biab which just goes over the top of your natural nail it doesn't like extend it at all so basically this is just like a white biab with a silver chrome on top and I really like it, but I think this time I might do like a lilac chrome. I was thinking yellow chrome. I've seen some people do that and it looks very like Eastery, but now Easter's gone. I don't know. I think I might go lilac because I feel like it'll look really pretty. I saw this picture on Pinterest, so hopefully we can get that kind of vibe. Just a lot shorter because my nails are just not, they can't do long. So let's do a three, two, one actually. So in three, two, one. These will be all done and lilac-y. <laughs> and we are purple. Well, a very subtle, subtle lilac. I actually really like the shade we went for, sort of hazy color. Love them. All fresh and gorgeous. Parmesan crust. Were we were talking about this earlier, Parmesan. Yeah, we were. This is it. This is what it's got Niles a bit of a cream prepped. cheese topping on it as well. 
What's it called? Parmesan crusted chicken with a so it's got cream a bit cheese, cream garlicky cheese. cream cheese filling under the crust. Oof. Guys, if you haven't made yourself a big icy cup of squash recently, this is your sign. And definitely go for the fruit and barley summer fruits because it is the best. So refreshing. But I am running myself a bar. Got my food on the bar, which is a bit risky. That is kind of <laughs> stressing me out a little bit, but it will be fine. It looks so yummy. This chicken with the cream cheese under there. I've also actually popped in some of Wynn's bedtime bubbles because these baby bath bits, especially the lavender and moon milk range, are so good and smell gorgeous. So I pop them in my bath too. <laughs> But anyway, I am going to get myself in there once it's finished running and have my chicken and have my squash <laughs> wind down for the evening. But I think I'm actually going to finish this video here. I'm feeling absolutely exhausted. I'm on my fourth period since before pregnancy. It's hit me hard. It's hit me really hard this time. <laughs> Today, I was just literally like, I feel like a slug. I can't do anything <laughs> and do you know what I, I used to have really bad periods back in the day like really intense heavy sorry <laughs> and just like they just zapped everything and they actually got a bit better as I got older but I feel like they've gone back to like 2k not 2k2 because that would make me six <laughs> but back in the day before I went on the pill and that's actually why I went on the pill years and years ago but they're feeling all over the shops so that's why i thought i'd run myself a bath but i'm gonna finish this video here thank you so much for watching i hope you guys all enjoyed this vlog and it was a little bit random i feel but yeah i hope you enjoyed it <laughs> and i will hopefully see you very soon in another video